This is interesting. The Bible is the world's most shoplifted book. To be fair, how are you meant to know you shouldn't steal it before you've read it? 14% <laughs> of bosses think it's acceptable for potential employees to lie on their CVs. If Channel 4 bosses are watching this, I haven't got a GCSE in French. Suckers. <laughs> And the average marriage lasts 11 years. I imagine there are a few people at home right now thinking, yes, I'm out in two. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. Sean, your team to go first. It's anything to do with the opening uh, of the Easy Hotel. The Easy Jet guy, he's gone into hotels now. Who's this? Stelios. Stelios. And he's, he's, he's opening a, a, an EasyJet hotel. It's only 20 quid a night, stay in London. But the rooms are bright orange. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't... Um, so in fact, you, they are oranges. Yeah. You have to burrow into them. <laughs> no, actually, they're not. <laughs> Aren't they? <laughs> well, I'm not staying, then. <laughs> he's got into hotels and he's spreading, he's spreading his empire. He's bringing the Easy brand to loads of different things. And I, I'm looking forward to the Easy Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got a very sort of low rent <coughs> craft where everything's orange. <laughs> There's about 200 foxes and a pigeon that lives off Watsits. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that the opening of the Easy Hotel is not in the, uh, in the top five. Oh, you it. Dave, your team, what have the nation been talking about this week? Um, I think they've been talking about the space shuttle with bits falling off it. <laughs> I think it's, it's 25 years old. What are they doing sending that up there? I've got a 15 year old caravanette. I wouldn't got Grange over Sands in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> The thing is, have you seen the crew? Eileen, she's called. She's the man, she? Eileen Collins. She's more by a hairdresser as well, obviously. <laughs> have you seen her hair, that Eileen? It's just like, done. She thought, well, I've got to put that helmet on. So she done her hair like that. It's just like... <laughs> she... Do you think she decided to be an astronaut when she was at the hairdressers in one of those <laughs> things? <Yeah. laughs> this is the look for me. I've seen they've, they've repaired the shuttle now. But, like, if you are on a plane, and you just watch the pilot shin his way out along the wing <laughs> with the hacksaw, and then he come in and go, oh, it's fine now. <laughs> You'd be shitting yourself. <laughs> well, let's have a look and see if it's in the top five talking points this week. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, this is the story of the repairs being carried out on the space shuttle this week. Discovery will soon be returning to home base. Or if they're closed, they'll be nipping into B&Q. <laughs> If all the people in China stood on each other's shoulders, they could reach the moon, which is not only an interesting fact, it's also the latest rescue plan. <laughs> Sean, Vic and Alan, what else have the nation been talking about? Is it Big Brother with Kinga coming down on a bottle? <laughs> <laughs> she did come down... I felt sorry for the bottle. I really did. <laughs> She'll not get much back on that at Threshers, will she? <laughs> <laughs> She should have done us all a favour and stuck Eugene up, shouldn't she? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look and see if Kinga's behaviour on Big Brother was one of the top five most talked about things. <laughs> <laughs>